Blues are back in action this weekend following a two-week international break that has given Gary Rowe and his staff some time on the training ground to work on improving certain aspects of Blues' game. I think you're always looking for every area that you can improve. I mean, you know, an international break perhaps just gives you breathing space to, to look at a little more depth because you have more time, particularly in that first week. Uh, and we do a lot of work on that. But you do that anyway. You know, I mean, uh, you know, even when you're Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, you know, I'll sit and watch the game. I'll watch other games. I sat last night and watched two or three of our games at home over the past two months. And you're always looking for little areas that you can that you can improve on. And, and you know, I think the final third's one of those areas. I think keeping more clean sheets is another one of those areas. Of course, you want the you're looking for the perfect perfect team display every week you know which is of course never going to happen but um, that's what we're hoping to achieve but yeah so you, you look at everything and, and like you say sometimes two weeks just gives you a little more chance to reflect without the pressures of a game at the end of certainly the first week. After losing Royce Wiggins to injury finding cover at left back has become somewhat of a priority for Rowett and he revealed that he's currently working hard to find a replacement. We've worked on that um, we've got a few players that we've spoke to um, uh, you know, without naming names, we've got one coming in today to train. Um, so I think it's a difficult one because if you look at the market of, obviously it has to be a free transfer, it has to be someone who's been out of contract in the last window because of a lack of emergency loans, which is a challenge. And if you look, you know, you go and find me many left backs of a sufficient quality for us that are out of contract. You know, there's not many around and, and what and, and there's no guarantee on how fit those players are if they haven't played for five or six months. So, um, But we're looking at that and we obviously, like you say, we need to get through that period. In an ideal world, I mean, if it was the other side of the pitch, then we've got plenty of young players that would step in and I wouldn't even look. You know, I'd, I'd give them an opportunity because that's what it's about. You know, that you're never going to know. Um, but at the minute, our only real left sider in terms of playing fullback is Don Bernard that I think is maybe close to being ready and he's right footed and he's also injured so it's not really a, it's not really much we've got that side we've got Robbo of course left footed who could play out there at a push um, so yeah so so we are looking and, and you know if we get the right one then we might try to do something short term to give us give us a little bit of extra depth Despite there being over a month until the January transfer window opens, Rowett confirmed that he has already been working hard and putting plans into place for adding to his side. That process is like is ongoing, literally from the close of the last window. Then it starts. You know, we've had multiple meetings about it. Um, I've watched. I'll watch players virtually every afternoon, sat in my office. You know, because and again, I mean that's sometimes a challenge of, as I said before, being a manager. The challenge sometimes is that. You've got to get a team out there on a Saturday ready, but there's so many other multitude of things. I can understand occasionally why people find it easier to have help in those areas because it means you can focus solely on the football, whereas some weeks, you know, I focus probably a small amount of time on the football and a big amount of time, of course, on the planning and everything else that goes with it. But I think that's part of why we're, we're making steady progress because we have that control on those areas. But... Recruitment-wise, we're, we're working incredibly hard to, to, to make sure we've got the right lists, the right type of players. Um, and then, of course, you have to be ready to be flexible because, you know, either you can't afford those players or they go elsewhere or they won't come or, you know, you never quite know until you start to, to do that diligence. But that's started now and, and we're, we're already putting those plans into place. Bristol City sit two places and one point behind Blues in the league. And Rao expects a tough game against a team and manager that he has a lot of admiration for. I think he's done really well. Um, I think he had some really good spells at Barnsley where he did an excellent job. Came through a very difficult spell there, which I'm sure made him a better a better manager, head coach, whatever they call it down at Bristol. But, um, you know, and, and had a fantastic opportunity. Obviously got a good history with Bristol. They've got some real good investment and, and the funding and have, they've spent a bit of money in the summer. But I think he's got a really competitive squad together. Got some excellent individuals, you know. I, I probably won't do them justice by naming only two, but in particular Tammy Abrahams and, and Lee Tomlin, who a lot of teams would, would like those two in their team. But they've got some other good players, Gary O'Neill pulling the strings in midfield. So, um, you know, they're a good side. They're a little bit like us. In, they play a different way to us. But they're a bit like us in the sense that they're trying to push to get in that top six. And both teams, I think, are going to have to be at the very best to continue to challenge for the top six. You know, So 
but he's done a good job. I mean, it'll be a difficult side to play against. Um, but we've been good at home. You know, we've been excellent at home. I think our form's been really good. Whether we've played a team down the bottom, a team around us, or a team at the top, we've we've got a very very good record at home this year. So so we've got to keep trying to maintain that.